Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to send messages to the AI uh, using external objects. So for example, in stealth games, uh, when you throw an object to distract a guard and the guard goes to investigate where that thrown object was, you know, landed, uh, we're going to do something like that. So first off, let's create a new blueprint class of actor. Let's name this BP crate. And we're going to add a static mesh. Let's make this the root. And we're going to use this cube mesh. Let's just imagine this is a crate. Okay. So what we want to do is enable simulate physics. And we need simulation generates hit events. So you need to check those two. Now what we want to do is we go right here and add on component hit. On component hit. So if this hits anything, it's just gonna send we're gonna send a message, right? Oops. Let's add this to the level. So this should fall right down. And you can see it hit it just sends messages. But even though it's not really you know, it's not moving, it's still sending messages. So we don't want that. We only want it to send message if it made significant impact, right? So what we want to do is we get the velocity, oops, get velocity of this object and then the vector length of that and let's say if it's greater than it's greater than 20 then we go right so if the velocity is greater than 20 we send messages looks good now what we're going to use to send messages we have two two ways to do it if you're using the older version of the toolkit you will need to use behavior trigger component. So you need to add the behavior trigger component uh, to this actor. And we're gonna wa want to call send area message, All right? If you're using uh, the latest version of the toolkit, you're gonna find a send area message, which is a global function. So it doesn't need any components. They're just, they're virtually the same. They're the same, they do the same thing. So you can use either or, it doesn't really matter. So let's just use this global function right here. We send an area message. And what we need to do here, drag this, break hit result. We want the location to be the origin. And let's say a radius of 1000 then the message to send is lure right save that now we want to create an ai that will investigate this location so let's call this investigator investigator click behavior component and message trigger in idle settings let's add lure and investigate so if it hears a lure message it will go to investigate state down to the investigate settings we're just gonna uh distance of 500 interval of three investigate count of five and yeah let's put him here and if he hears the message he should hear the message and go investigate it See, he goes in and investigate the crate. Put him further away. There you go. He's he's like saying, oh, who who dropped this crate? Maybe it was me. So maybe you want to associate the how far the message travels based on how fast the ob object drops, right? So if it dropped from like here 
the velocity will be lower because it's, you know, not much impact. So we can do that by, again, using the vector length right here and just multiplying it by a certain value. Let's say times four and plug that into radius. So if, if it fell at this height, oops, he's still hearing it. How about this height? There you go. Don't hear it. Let's put him further away. Drop at that height. He hears that. And drop at this height. Still hears that. How about this? Doesn't hear that. So yeah, that's how you send messages to the AI using external objects. You can do this for about pretty much everything, say a throwable object, you know, you just substitute this crate with say a projectile or, you know, put an impulse so you can throw it. Uh, it's very useful for say VR games and stealth games and such. So yeah, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and Tune in next time. Cheers.